Hey, good afternoon. Um, I wanted to come and share with you a little bit more of my testimony. I, I know that I've shared bits and pieces, and for the last two or three weeks, the Lord has been um, taking me back and walking me through another situation that happened to me that I thought I had completely healed from. But it, God is so awesome in that He will take you back when you're ready um, and just bring even deeper healing to to your spirit and to your mind and to your body. And He will teach us through our past. He will teach us through experiences that we went through. Um, not that He brought on this experience. You know, during the time that all this happened, I wasn't completely um, where I needed to be. But God's grace is so amazing. How He just comes in and He brings healing and He brings restoration and He and He brings teaching. And um, so I just kind of wanted to share, and I'm going to try to share without getting all emotional. Um, but back after. There, there was a time that I dated a guy that, um, you know, I thought, you know, and he was a Christian, but he had his own issues, but um, I dated him and was really in love with him and just, uh, told you this would be hard. Um, what I thought was love, but at the same time, um, it was a very abusive relationship. Um, the relationship started very um, emotionally abusive at that time. This, from what he was raised in, he put a lot on me about if I was a Christian, I wouldn't wear makeup and I didn't, I wouldn't fix my hair a certain way. I, you know, just certain belief systems that um, at that time I was so vulnerable and you know so open to wanting more of what the Lord had for me that I just received all of those things that he was speaking over me and and telling me about and then um, later on as things progressed in our relationship it became very physically abusive and there was a time where um, things got totally out of control he actually threw me up against the wall he dragged me across the floor by my hair it was a very difficult time because this was a guy that I had trusted and believed to be um, walking with the Lord, yet at the same time, these were the hands that were abusing me and that um, I was allowing to abuse me at that time. But remember, I've shared a lot of times that I had a very low self-esteem and I had, a, 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 I had this image of myself that was very negative. Um, so I allowed myself to continue in a relationship because, you know, love makes you do odd things sometimes. And so I never judge other women that are in relationships that are abusive where others are saying, you know, things about it. Because it is very hard to leave a relationship like that when you are being, it starts emotional and then it goes even deeper and, you know, it can get very um, physically abusive, which was the point in our relationship where um, things got out of hand physically um, quite a few times and this particular event I remember the most because it was very painful because I wanted things to be different yet here I was allowing myself to be drug across the floor um, to be thrown into the, the door to um, I, you know I left there bruised both physically and emotionally and mentally and it took me a very long time to get to a point of trust again and I, I had this image in my head that all men were that way. I dated several other guys that um, there was some form of abuse, whether it be emotional or physical. But I kept finding myself in these relationships um, where abuse was just came with it. And um, the lesson, I've gone through a lot of healing and all of this, and I could share so much more. But the main thing that the Lord was teaching me in this season is so many times we prejudge a situation we prejudge um, everything by an experiences and experience or experiences that we have had in the past for instance I could easily have said all men are abusive all men are going to treat me that way I deserve that type of relationship and so I set myself up to um, be in a situation where um, I don't trust men and I allow myself to continue to be abused yet today I am married to an amazing man of God who treats me like a, a queen um, who has never been abusive to me physically and who I just absolutely adore 
you know, it took time to trust that this was real and that it wouldn't happen again. Um, but I could have sat back in that situation of this is the way it's always going to be. And the Lord was also revealing to me um, that we do this in every area. Especially, um, you know, I've talked to several people lately who are not in a church home because they have been in churches that there was um, things that happened that caused them disbelief or lack of trust or other people who were Christians in the church hurt them. And so they assume every experience is going to be that way. Every church is going to be that way. Um, and the Lord had just wanted me to share in my own life and with those around me that you cannot judge what happened to you in the past as what it's always going to be like. There is freedom and there is a, those chains were broken off of me. Not to say that um, I'll ever be in a situation that I'm going to get hurt again. But I know at this current time that I am loved and highly favored by the King and my past does not define me and it does not set the stage for my future. So if you are currently in a, an abusive relationship or you have been in several um, and you, you're to that point of you just feel like helpless, hopeless, things are never going to change or that's the way all men are, I come to share hope and light and light on the situation that that's not how all men are that there are men like my husband who will honor you who will adore you who will lift you up um, so just be encouraged with that be encouraged that God is doing a new thing in this season in your life and then he will take you and heal you and break off those chains that have been on your life about this situation so um, if you have any questions or if you just need to talk then please feel free to message me um, because I have been there and I've, I've been through so much more than this, but it's just a glimpse of what God has done in my life and I just wanted to share with you today.